Okay, coming up, we're talking with a former white supremacist who's now spreading the message of peace throughout San Diego. Coming up, we're going to tell you all about his life. His name is Taz, and what changed for him? We'll talk to him about his story and what he's doing in San Diego as Good Morning San Diego returns. A former white supremacist has made it his mission today to promote peace by really going all over the country, anywhere uh, that calls upon him to share his story. He is here in San Diego spending time at the Rock Church talking about what happened with him and how there were really two pivotal moments in his life that helped to change him. I'd like to welcome Taz to Good Morning San Diego. Taz, good morning. morning. Nice, nice to, to have you. you here. Thank you. We also have uh, Pastor Nemo and Pastor Greg with the Rock Church joining us this morning. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having us. And uh, it, this is an interesting observation. We've got Taz here, Caucasian. Yes, right. Hispanic, African American. You know it. You Would know. this have happened before, Taz? Uh, no. No. <laughs> um, my goodness, there's so many questions I have for you, but let's start off by uh, you grew up, you, you said all over the country, you were on the East Coast, you made your way to the West Coast. Um, at a very young age, you became involved in gangs. What happened? Yeah, that's the yeah. key question. What happened? But, uh, you know, I just, we, we moved around a lot, so I always played football, but uh, at this one part of my life, I, I was introduced to that uh, skinhead lifestyle. Um, I enjoyed what was going on with everybody, and uh, mm -hmm. I, then I just dove deeper in, and then my whole life just fell apart. Yeah, and you also got involved with alcoholism, and you started drinking a lot, and then you said you played football. I mean, you were you were on your way, from what I understand. You were, uh, what, like a football scholarship was coming at you? Yeah, I, I had scholarships uh, my second year, that. but uh, yeah. And then my second year, that's the year I got stabbed in my back. So, um, so I mean, there are other things, but it started to just really fall apart, you know. But yeah. football was my passion, yeah. So what happened? Uh, if we kind of fast forward the time when we allude to these two pivotal moments, one of them uh, is the time that you got stabbed. What happened when you went to the hospital that began to change within you? So that particular time, uh, there was a fight, and then uh, I wound up getting stabbed a few weeks later, but uh, I'm kind of losing breath and consciousness, and I got stabbed in my back, almost through my heart. But the, the doctor who saved me at UCSD was African-American. And uh, I just, you know, you don't know if you're going to live or not, but I'm thinking, man, this guy's saving my life, and, you know, he, and I hate him. Like, yeah. for what? Yeah. Wow. And that was a, a UCSD doctor, you said? UCSD up in Hillcrest, yeah. In, in the Hillcrest in the, yeah. area. My goodness. Um, and you're here in San Diego. You've been spending some time at the Rock Church. Uh, in fact, tomorrow, Pastor Nemo, he's going to your church. He's going to be talking to their, uh, the Spanish ministry. I mean, you run the yes. Spanish ministry. Yes, East so County. we have a, a Spanish, Rock Church Spanish service that it takes place at uh, East County campus. And the service time is uh, 2.30. And Taz will be there tomorrow with us. And one of the things I think that is important because sometimes we just believe what people says and, and we don't want to give a chance to, to, other, to other race, I will say. And uh, with the Hispanics, it's been one of these things. Like the news, sometimes they, they high top a lot of the stuff for, for different things. And, and sometimes we just go and believe things. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that like Pastor Miles says in the third option book, that he says that there is not them and us. There is, there is a third option, mm -hmm. and this is what you see here. Wow! This is the third option. This is what, what what you see, and this is what we want him. So tomorrow he will be with us. He will be sharing that, and then we will have time for them to to kind of ask questions and 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 see the restoration that God has done, because I will say every race has the same problem. Yeah. What has the response been like so far, Pastor Greg? Because Taz has already been at uh, some of the other campuses, right. as we saw in the video, speaking right. to people. Right. Yeah, I think there's been a lot of healing. Uh, a lot of people who may have had questions uh, to start 
about what it looks like to have faith in God and what restoration looks like. You know, it's just a beautiful rendition. All of our lives is, is a repli- representation of that. Um, you see Taz's story and, and you see Nemo's story, you see my story. All of it's like, wow, there's hope for me. And the main thing is I think it offers a sense of hope for people who may feel lost or may feel confused or may even feel angry that you can be free, you can have peace, and most, most importantly, you can feel unified, not mm-hmm. only with uh, people, but with God. At what point, Taz, um, in your life, did you feel like you were going to use your testimony, like use what happened to you to help others who perhaps are going through something similar or having these thoughts, or at what point? At first, I really didn't want to do it. I was like, it's my testimony, and I'll just kind of keep it to myself and live my life. And then I started thinking, well, it's not about me. God said, go ahead and share your testimony, because we all have a testimony. Mm -hmm. And then so I said, all right, well, let me step out in faith that it's not just about being a skinhead or white supremacist. It's like whatever your struggle is that you're going through, like there's hope for people, and God can redeem people. Mm -hmm. And and you're not stuck in that world, because my world got, I mean, I went from really doing a lot of things like something like this I would never have the chance to do it Wow yeah and that's a great point that it doesn't have to be you're in like a you know skinhead or it's not a white supremacy it could be anything any anything. any other type of struggle that you may have yeah. that yeah you know, evil evil is an equal opportunity thing it's just whatever you know that even not even evil just whatever you're yeah. stuck in very good. So, yeah. life is good today? Life, life is good. Look, I got <laughs> yeah. United Nations smile. here. Oh yeah. Look at that smile. Life is yeah. real good. Well, I wish we had, gosh, days to yeah. chat uh, yeah. on the air, but um, it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank yeah. you for sharing your, your you story so and helping to transform lives out there. And again, you're going to be at uh, this, the Rock Church in East County uh, tomorrow. What time is service, Pastor? 2.30. A las dos y media. Dos at 2.30. Uh, Habla español. Habla español. Espanol or not, uh, I'm sure you'll have translation. From, yeah. Do you know you guys have translation? He, from, he's, he's Spanish. He's not that That's great. all I know. Habla okay. Espanol. Habla Espanol. Yeah. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. <laughs> Thank you, Taz. Thank Pastor you so and Pastor. Appreciate it. Pastor no Greg. All right. We'll be back with much more here on Good Morning San Diego.